Okay, so I have an idea about the mosaics because I know some people don't like doing the mosaics. So I was sitting here and I was thinking, huh, what can I do? I know Angie uh, did Angie Lupus Life. Angie uh, said that she takes washi tape and cuts it up and then does her mosaic like that, which is genius. I have so many like straight color washi tapes that I've bought that were on sale. That's a great idea. So I was going to start, I was going to do that. Then I was sitting here thinking, and <laughs> the last time I was in here was last week in my art room. And when I shut the door, something fell off the door and it was my bag of big markers that I had gotten from the dollar store. I don't know. And I have my twistable crayons in here. So I, oh, sorry. Somebody shut the door on me. I forgot to shut the door. So I thought, wouldn't it be neat? Now I don't know how many I have in here and I would probably have to continue on, but I'm going to start my mosaic. And this is kind of a big page for mosaic, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm going to start by, wait, I'm going to start by wing it with me, people. <laughs> All right, let me just draw. I'm going to draw my eye. Now, um, oh, gods, I can't remember her name in the group. She even tagged me with it. Oh, I'll have to look it up. She did a really creepy eye, which I loved. I loved, I loved, I loved. And I will tell you her name when once I'm finished here. So what I'm going to do is I'm drawing my eye. Okay. Now watch me make a fool of myself. <laughs> oh, I got to do a little, I got to do the pupil. You got to have a pupil. Does the pupil have to be a completely circle and centered? I don't know. But here I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to make my eye blue, which I usually do green, but I can't find my green right now. And if you saw my desk, it is a mess. Okay, somebody asked me if I had finished my doll and everything like that. And I have, um, I think I gessoed her. Um, I'm not completely positive. She is under the massive mess that is called the left side of my me. And it's a big table, which I'm going to get through, uh, you know. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my marker and see, I thought it was flatter. So don't judge. Don't judge. We're mosaic. Well, technically, they should kind of touch a little bit, but because I'm Kelly and I'm trying something out. Oh my God, I ate a blueberry from the garden and it was sour and I swear half the skin is in the back of my throat right now. So if I go like that, you'll know why. Okay. So we are mosaicing and we are mosaicing. Okay. Now the new prompt is up for this week, but I'm going to go with the eye because that's what I have colors for. And then I will go through and do different colors or a different way to do this. Oh my God, would this piece get out of my throat? Okay. So I'm just keeping doing, I wish this was a little fatter. I wish I was a little thinner, but it's not, I thought, am I on the right edge? Now it's kind of giving the same thing. I thought it was a, like a flatter one, but it's still kind of mosaic-y. So I'm just doing this. <laughs> Probably not the wisest thing to do on video. Now my question is, do I take blue? Well, why do I ask that question until I'm at that point? And I just keep going and going. Ooh, the smell of this marker, it reminds me of being young, being little and having this horrible smell that then you can taste all night. Do you ever do that with something like, like e whether it's like a phosphorus smell that like you smell like, an, I don't know. And then you smell it like you taste it. I don't know. It's very hard to explain. Sometimes it's like a metal taste. Or like you can like taste something that you smelled. I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Okay. So there's that part of the eye. Now let's, I don't think I have a black. I have a black marker somewhere. I have to, I have to. My black marker. How you like me now? All right. So now 
I'm going to circle this wonderful pupil that I made. And I'm going to do this. Now, why I'm doing this, you're probably wondering to yourself. Okay, just wait. I get in there. I get in there. All right. So let me grab. I'm going to grab my, I love these twistable colored pencils. And I'm going to grab my purple one. And I'm just going to kind of go over these lines. Here's me going over the line. Okay, that line. And then I have a purple marker because she has purple eyeshadow in. So I'm going to start small, small, and then get bigger and bigger. See, I'm wondering. Closer might be the idea. Probably closer, but because of my hands, I ain't going closer right now because this is just me being me. Now, like I said, I know Angie used washi tape. Fantastic idea. I'm doing a marker, which successful, I have no idea, but it's mosaic-y. And I thought, like I said, because it has like a square, I thought when it had a square square. This is more of a, not a, not a rectangle, is it? What's it called when it's a shape? I don't know what the hell it's called. Okay. Take my black marker and I'm going to trace down here. I should probably trace that purple eyeshadow with the marker itself as well. Okay. And then I'm going to take my blue again. See, I'm going with the flow here. I'm just going. Now this is a fabric brush marker. Let's just trace it. Oh, it's a different color, blue. Fancy. Oh, Kelly is so fancy. Okay. Uh, white. I don't know how to mosaic white, but I can mosaic it yellow. And so it shall be. I wonder if I cut that tip off. See how it's angled? If I cut that tip off, if it would then go... These are marks a lot. Permanent Avery pen, non-toxic. Or if you're non-toxique, no toxico. I don't know. I've been talking a lot of made up Cali French to Dave lately. I did take French, however, four years in um, high school. I know a few curse words. I'm very proud of that. And a few words. I think I've probably mentioned that before, but why not mention that proud thing again? See how I'm being fancy? My fancy pants. And you can do it whatever way you want. Look, this is mosaic -y, right? It's like a freaked out eye. Now, here's my question. Oh, maybe I can do... So that's what I say. That's how I talk to Dave. My question. And he's like, oh my gosh, be quiet. Some eyelashes. Come on, little friend. Let's do some eyelashes. I don't think that looks too much like eyelashes. Maybe we should continue on with more bigger eyelashes. It's a big eye, Cal. Keep them going. She got some falsy eyes on today. She's like, don't you like my eyes and my eyeshadow and my eye? Oh, what are these called? Lashes? Well, that just kind of looks down right crappy, but you know it's eyelashes, okay? Okay. Now, here is where I'm going to experiment. You get it? You see? I'm fancy that way. I have one of my yellow twistable colored pencils. 
I'm going to color this yellow in with it. You can use a crayon or a colored pencil, whatever you got. Oh, I didn't erase my pencil lines, but hey, I cannot be perfect. Nobody is perfect. Now, of course, I'm doing this very quickly. I'm not pushing too hard with my twistable crayon. Okay, and I'm going to wind it back so the tip don't break, so the tip don't break. Now I'm going to take my purple again. I'm going to go in lightly, lightly, Kelly, lightly. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with them eyelashes. I'm not, I don't even think they're eyelashes anymore. I just think they're bugs crawling from her eye. She has bug eyes. I know, isn't this thrilling? And this is a blue Crayola Twistable that is big. Maybe it's almost gone. No, it's a big one, all right. And I'm just going to color this in. I must have bought two kinds. I told you I had it on my back of my door. And I came in today and I saw them on the floor and I thought, hmm, I wonder. And this is great for the people who want to do the mosaics but don't want to cut things out. Like I said, Angie found a great way to do it. You can do it this way. We have our fancy eye. Now do I have black in here? Oh my god, that blueberry is stuck. It's just stuck. It just does not want to come out. I think it's in my teeth. Mm, yum. Here's my I think this is black. I thought correctly. I, really, I'm very ashamed of these eyelashes. But hey, I tried. I had more time and more thoughts in my head. I was so excited about the marker thing that, you know, I don't know, this little eyelash is going wherever it wants. I don't know. Should have eyelashes coming down here too, but you see what I'm saying. And then I'm going to take the red marker. Now, technically, I would probably do this to it. Red doesn't like to really pat itself down on the paper. Look at, I'm so fancy, so fancy, fancy. I love you. How you like me now? That's my mosaic eye uh, with some fancy fake eyelashes on. Oh, who's calling me? Now. Okay, so that's my mosaic with the eye. Now, technically, I'd probably color the outside so this was the thing. But this is the mosaic eye. And the next one um, is a swimming pool. And I'm going to do that one too. And I think I might do it like this. But I won't be. I don't think I'll be doing it on the camera. I'm not real sure. But I was really excited and happy to do this. And for those of you who don't want to cut up paper and do this at the other. Try it like this with a marker. You know. Or whatever. We all have you know, a little watercolor. Take a little sponge. A little piece, square. And boop, 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 you can do that. You can use one of the makeup sponges that we use that are a triangle and use that, the bottom of the uh, makeup sponge and go bloop, 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 and that makes mosaic. So here's my mosaic eye with these funky eyelashes because we've got to be funky. 
Okay. <laughs> Thank you all very much. And as always, be kind to each other because you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And please, please remember to color outside the lines and enjoy your life. Enjoy art. Nobody's perfect. Nothing's perfect. Do it. I enjoy doing this, although it is not um, what's driving me crazy is the... Do I have any? Do I have any? I do. This heart not being colored in. Here's another fat one. I'm going to color it in because that's going to drive me insane. And y'all know that I'm insane. But yes, always color outside the lines. Think of a think of different ways to do things. Nothing is set in stone. And being perfect is not in my vocabulary and shouldn't be in yours. Fun is. Let's have fun. F-U-N. And I love you. I love you all. Y'all have a great day and thank you for watching and give me a thumbs up if you feel the need to send me some loving because I love thumbs up and I love comments. Any questions as always on anything on this channel, um, just ask and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.